Hi, I'm Juliana with LaLilo, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to get some detailed information on the standards your students are working on while they're doing work on LaLilo. I'm here in my teacher dashboard, and today I'm going to look specifically at my student Stella. So I'm going to click on this eyeball icon here to get to her details page. Um, and as you may know, this page gives you some usage information about how much she's been working and which lessons she's working on. And also down at the bottom, you get an overview of the different standards that your student has been working on. So here I can see the different standards that um, Stella has been working on while playing La Lilo. And all of these are common core standards. If I hover over the label here, I can see the exact wording that's associated with that standard. So this one, for example, is reading high frequency sight words. This one is the letter recognition standard, and this one is one-to-one -one letter sound correspondence. Over here on the top right, um, there's a drop-down menu where I can select the grade level that I want to see the particular standards for, um, but this should auto-populate with the standards that your student is currently working on. So right now, Estelle is working on kindergarten standards, and I wanna dig in a little bit more to some of these standards. So I'm gonna go into the details report for um, the reading co uh, common high frequency sight words. Again, I'm gonna click on this eyeball icon and it takes me to a details page, specifically on this standard for this student. Um, down at the bottom, I can see which elements the student has worked on within this standard. So here I can see that she's worked on three different sight words, A, I, and the. And if I click on one of these elements, I can get more information about the skill that she's practiced in the standard. So here she's working on spelling common high frequency sight words. So she's been working on spelling the word the. Looks like she's doing really well with this standard. So I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna check out another standard where she needs a little more support. So we're gonna look into the one that's uh, letter sound correspondence. I can tell she's done 24 questions and is still struggling a little bit. So we're gonna check out what's going on. Um, and here I can see that she's worked on these three elements, D, B, and M, and the sounds that go with them. I get an overview here of how many questions asked and what her success rate is. And then again, I can click on each element to get some more details about the skill that she's been working on within that standard. So here I can see that she's been working on associating graphemes and phonemes within words for beginning position. So the letter D at the beginning of words, um, still struggling a little bit, but getting there. For the letter B, she's been working on some questions that ask her to identify B and the B sound at the end of the word. And for the letter M, same thing, ending position and then medial position. So here I can see that um, she's really struggling with that medial position. She's probably not ready for that yet, but I can really focus my instruction with her on beginning and ending sounds. This is also a great tool to use um, if you have parent-teacher conferences coming up, you wanna show the parents what students have been working on or if you're filling out your progress reports. So go ahead um, and check out your standards reports on La Lilo. And as always, we really value your feedback. So if there's anything that you want to let us know about these reports, you can click here where it says, give your feedback, fill out a really short survey. Um, and we do really appreciate uh, the suggestions that you have. Hopefully this is helpful and we hope to see you soon. Thanks.